Happy Sunday everyone. I hope you're all well and having a chilled bank holiday weekend. For today's video I thought I would chat through some of my favourite things of recent months. I don't think I've done a favourite since February maybe. Um, so I've got a few different things here. I like watching favourites videos when there's lots of different categories. So if any of these aren't relevant for you, you could just fast forward a little bit, but I've got beauty, I've got lifestyle, I've got TV, and I've added in baby as well. So just like a few different things that I thought I would show you from some stuff that I've been loving. I'm sitting on the floor, so I'm probably gonna get cramped. So let's get going. I think I'll start with beauty. This has been living in our shower for quite a while. I think I got sent it, but like a really long time ago, we keep like backup shower gels in the drawer and then when we've run out, we just like take another one out. And I'm not that fussed when it comes to shower gel, really. I have my like L'Occitane almond shower oil that I love. But anyway, I just put this one in the shower and we're halfway through now and I love it. Rich, are you loving the shower gel? Have you noticed? Which one? This one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that one. Rich okay. loves it as well. So it's from a brand called Sasha Schwa Sasha Schwan. Sasha Schwan. Sasha Schwan. You think? It says it's from Stockholm and it's the ginger flower scent. First of all, I love the packaging. It comes in this very handy pump. Oh my God, I remember years ago in a favorites video. Tell me if anyone remembers this. I was talking about the Soap and Glory shower gel and I said, I love a good pump in the shower. I'll never live that down. Anyway, I do love a good pump on my shower gel. Um, it just makes it so easy to just get the product. I hate it when you have to lift it up and it's slippery and you know. So I love the packaging and it's just a really, really like uplifting, fresh, scent oh it's so nice i like to come out of the shower and like feel like i smell clean so i would totally buy this um again i really it wasn't something i thought i was going to be that excited about and it's just been great i'm just going to grab the beauty favorites that i have here the next one is a moisturizer um, my skin and my lips are so much better at the moment um i've been speaking with dr emma wedgeworth and she's really really helped get them to a much better state so now i'm at the point where i can add in the more active ingredients again into my skincare routine. I've been enjoying a new serum and a new moisturizer, but for quite a while, I was just using this. I really, really stripped it back to just my Clinique Take the Day Off Balm and this. I wasn't even using a serum for a while. This is from Aven and it's the Rich Skin Recovery Cream. She said she recommended using this. I got it off Amazon actually. And it's just a really, really nice, like very hydrating moisturizer, but with like not much in it, nothing that's gonna like aggravate skin. So if you've got sensitive skin, but your skin's also dry or dehydrated, this is a really, really nice moisturizer. I finished this tube and I actually have another one. So this will be the moisturizer that I always go back to, I think, when my skin is just feeling like there's too much going on. I just know that my lips won't react to that. But talking about lips, when I have been wearing lip products, because I can every now and again, like when my lips are fine, it's it's okay. And this, I just know my lips won't react to this. And this was actually on the list. I asked like, if I use lip products, which ones can I use? Obviously like fragrance free would be great, but she actually mentioned NARS as one of the brands, I think that she said will probably be fine. And I love this lip product from NARS. It's, um, this shade is Dolce Vita. I can't remember what these lip balms are called, but it's just a really, really nice tinted lip balm. Those are the sort of lip products that I really like now. The ones that I can just like put on without needing a mirror. And I know it's not gonna be too heavy. Like even this, I tend to like blot in with my fingers afterwards, like, Put a little bit on. I tend to like dab it like that because I just want like a slight tint. My lips are really naturally quite pale and they kind of just blend in with my face and I look a bit ill. So I like to just like put a little bit of color and they're so hydrating and they don't make my lips go crazy, which is amazing. I haven't worn liquid eyeliner in years. Um, I don't know what came over me, but I saw this in my drawer. I think I got sent it with some other new products from Charlotte Tilbury. I just thought, why not? It's her feline flick. So it's a liquid eyeliner, but it's in brown. And if you're afraid of liquid eyeliner, going for something like a brown one is just so much less intimidating. It doesn't look as like heavy on the eyes. Like I've got slightly hooded eyelids. So if I wear like a thick black eyeliner, it just makes everything look heavier. So this is perfect and I don't do like, you don't have to do like a strong, you don't have to make a statement out of liquid eyeliner. This one's got a really, really long, like fine nib. 
So I find that if you just line the top lash line, like I kind of do it from the center of the face, I find if you if you rest your hand on your cheek, and if, you, if you've got lots of makeup on, you could put like a cotton wool um, pad so you don't like ruin the makeup. You just rest your hand, rest your elbow on a table to keep it really, really stable and just slightly like pull along the top of the lash line. It's actually really easy to do and brown is so much more forgiving. If you haven't got them perfectly symmetrical, it doesn't matter, it still looks great. I'm wearing this today, you're not probably not gonna be able to see, which is kind of the point. I feel like it adds a little bit more to your eye look without being a huge statement. And this is a really nice one that I find lasts very well throughout the day. You guys know I've been wearing these hair clips so much recently. Um, they're from IGK, oops, you can get them on their website, but you can probably get similar clips from any sort of like beauty website or something, maybe more of like a salon type shop, like Sally's. They're, they're like hairdresser clips. So what I tend to do is hairspray my hair and then I'll just put that in there. And if you find that you get slightly frizzy bits or static hair, it just helps kind of keep those bits down. Funny because you guys have all said that you like what they look like just as normal clips. So now I'm thinking maybe, maybe I should buy some hair clips and like wear them as like a fashion thing. I don't really know where to get them from. If any of you know, let me know. These have just been good. I really enjoy it. I have like maybe six or seven of those and I use them a lot. Right, one more beauty product. This is the Lansano HPA Lanolin Nipple Cream. I actually used this when I was breastfeeding as a nipple cream, but this is what Dr. Emma Wedgworth recommended I use as a lip balm, like in between using stronger products on my lips. You guys ask me all the time, like what did I use to clear up my lips? I wouldn't want to like recommend stronger like steroid creams to you because obviously I'm not a doctor so definitely go speak to your GP if you are having like eczema on your lips I did find a couple of creams that really really helped me and if you want to know what those are comment down below and I'll just apply to you separately because maybe you could suggest them to your GP if you want to. Anyway, this has been a really good lip balm in between using those creams. It's literally just 100% lanolin. So that's all that's in it and it's, it hasn't got any fragrance, it hasn't got anything else that's gonna make your lips react. It just keeps them like slightly moisturized. Like I find when I go outside and my lips go really dry, that's always the beginning. They get dry and then they get itchy and then I itch them and then they get swollen and it's like a whole knock on effect. So. I've really been enjoying using that. Okay, now on to lifestyle. I picked up these from Amazon. They are glass dispenser bottles. So I've got one for hand wash and one for our fairy liquid, which if you're not English is like washing up liquid. And I really, first of all, I really like how they look, but also just much more environmentally friendly if you use these and then just buy refills to fill these up. I still feel like there's a lot of brands that don't do refills, which is annoying. I don't understand why Aesop don't sell these bottles themselves and just you can buy the refills. Like surely that would be perfect for them. And um, because I really love the Aesop exfoliating hand wash. So I hope in the future that they start to do that. But yeah, these are just really good. You can refill them and you don't have to like buy the plastic dispenser every time. And also to go alongside those, I got the spray bottle and I just keep this filled up with water. And if the sun's shining, and I want to give my plant a little bit of a spritz like that then I can give it a little bit of a spritz although looking over at my plant right now it's definitely dying it's the one that we repotted seriously we are so bad with plants also a lifestyle I've never had so many comments than I have had on these measuring cups whenever i use them in a video or on my instagram stories i always get so many questions about where they're from and they were a gift quite a while ago not actually from anthropology i think they were from another brand i can't quite remember and they came with a gift but they're so gorgeous this is what they look like and they don't currently have them in stock on the uk website i think on the american website they do they do have measuring spoons though which i am tempted by they're just really, really pretty. And I also use them as like cutters as well when I'm like making food for Grey. So I just thought I'd mention that on here because I get so many questions about those. The final lifestyle favorite is this apron from H&M. H&M Home is a linen apron. It's a really different shape. It kind of goes like that at the front and then crisscrosses at the back and it just goes over your head and it's got big pockets as well. It's just so nice. I really like wearing it when I'm baking and 
they don't currently have this color in stock actually i'm not sure if they have any of the linen ones left they had a black one and then it just like went and now they've got a denim one but keep an eye on the h&m home website because they tend to restock things um quite well that is just a really nice like kitchen favorite of mine should we talk tv now because i know a lot of you have spare time on your hands and you're wanting some more like tv shows to watch we watch so much tv i swear we go through like a new series every week so last week we watched normal people which is on BBC. You can watch the whole thing on BBC iPlayer but I also think they're showing it like once a week on BBC One at the moment. It's based on Sally Rooney's book Normal People and I know everyone's talking about it online so I'll keep this short but I really really loved it. I thought it was great. It's about young love and it's so hard to explain like I really you can really like feel the emotions like I felt the anxiety watching it and I love the two main parts I think they are brilliant actors and I'm now obsessed with following both of them on Instagram I don't know believe the hype I don't want to talk about it anymore but believe the hype go and watch it Rich loved it as well so watch it with your partners I thought it was fab the other tv show that we just finished last night actually is called Blood what channel was that on Rich? Channel 5, how random. My mum told me to watch it and I really really liked it. It's based in Ireland and I'm not gonna lie, no offence to Irish people, at times I really struggled to understand what they were saying. It's a very strong accent and we had to keep rewinding it. But aside from that, I thought it was brilliant. It's about a family, a very complicated family. Um, I hate having to describe TV shows. Can I say that someone dies? Will that ruin it? Someone in the family dies and then they're basically trying to figure out how that person died and whether they were murdered or not. But it's better than that. Wow, I just find it too hard to describe TV shows, but please take my word for it. It's really good. <laughs> okay, let's do baby as a category because I know a lot of you are also mums or aunties. Um, I thought I would show you a few things. First of all, a baby beauty product. Um, I mentioned this on the Instagram live that I do with Anna, which is on a Saturday at 1.30 every week. Grey got really, really dry skin on her elbows and we'd recently switched her bath product. I don't know, I don't, I don't know why we did this. We always use Child's Farm and then we ran out and it was quite hard to get hold of. So we just got one from like a really big well-known brand. And it said it was like paraben free and like had no nasties in it. She got really dry skin on her arms. So it just shows that it probably did have a lot of crap in it. So we used some like dipper base, some like moisturizer on her elbows for a little while. And then we also changed the bath product to this, which is from Aveeno so many people recommended this it's the soothing relief baby emollient wash it's not particularly like it doesn't like lather up that much in the bath but her dry skin is completely gone now which is so nice like when a little baby's got dry skin and they've normally got such baby soft skin it made me so sad so um, that's completely cleared it up. I think this is a really great product. This one and the Child's Farm bar, uh, bubble bath. This t-shirt I wanted to give a mention because I mentioned it on Instagram and the brand were just like so over the moon and they said that they've sold so many since I mentioned it and I love that because it's a small brand run by a mum. I think she's like struggling to keep up with orders but I wanted to give it another mention because when Grey wears this, it's just like always my favorite day. Um, the brand's called Marlowville. They sent this to her when she was born and she, it only now fits her because it's 12 to 18 months. It's a little stripy tee and it says grey and I just think it's so cute and you can get like big ones to match so you can be like mummy baby matching. I love it, like as soon as she goes out of this I'm gonna order her the next size up because I just think it's so cool, like little stripes, it says grey. I mean, it looks like whistles, right? This is a very me t-shirt um, and when she wears it with jeans, it looks cute. So I wanted to give that another little mention. Also, grey is almost one, which means that I've almost come to the end of my baby book. I can't believe it. This is from Design Letters. It's, it says baby's first book. Um, you can get it on a few different websites. I think we got ours from Truva, but they sell them in lots of different places. And I've loved it. I think it is the best baby book ever. It's got, <laughs> when I open it up, I've got all the like cards that I was sent when she was born. And then you can put like family tree in, you can put stuff about the baby shower, stuff about the birth. And then every month it's got like month. Oh, that is so annoying. Just dropped all the cards. It's got like month number one. And then it's got like a little card if you want to take a photo. Um, funny because I used to hate these cards. I used to say I'm never going to be one of those mums that does like month one, month two. 
And then I just did. And do you know what, guys? If you're thinking like, no way, I never will. It's like the best thing I've done because now being able to like compare 12 photos throughout the year where she's grown every month and like some of the months is like such a massive jump it's just it's really nice to have those as a reference i would do it again so it's got the little card and then it's got three spaces for photos and then it's got like about month number one what have i written here loves a scrunchy noise tries to smile with her eyes hates the bath loves to be swaddled explosive poo on daddy's knee <laughs> <laughs> and lots of cuddles with visitors. Oh, it's just so nice to look through this and I can't believe that I'm gonna do the last one soon. Ooh. And then at the back as well, I've just been writing down like little milestones so I can remember. So I wanted to give that a little shout out because it's been such a great thing to have throughout the past year. And then quickly, I wanted to highlight two of her current favorite toys. So I've got like a pretty toy and an ugly toy. The pretty toy was sent to me by my first years who do some really, really nice stuff. If you ever need to buy gifts for people, they do loads of like personalized gifts um, and they do lots of wooden toys as well. So this they actually sent to me and it's got her name on it, which is really cute. It's one of those things that you like hammer. But actually, she doesn't love hammering it. She just loves like pressing these down. I help her with it but she basically just presses these down. And I, there are no other toys that we have that takes up so much of her attention. She will sit for like 10 minutes, just like pushing these down. And then I turn it over and then she pushes them down and it's very relaxing and it keeps her very quiet. So I'm impressed with that. The ugly toy is this remote control. She loves our actual remote control. Nothing will ever be as good as that. But um, this is like second best. Let me see if I turn it on. It like, Eight, it plays awful, annoying music, but she loves that. Yeah, so those are all of my current favorites. Quite a lot of stuff there. I will link everything down below in the description box. I think YouTube have updated the way things look. So if you're thinking, where is the description box? It doesn't say show more any, anywhere. I think it's there. I think there's a little arrow down there that you click and then it expands the description box and everything I've mentioned will be linked below. Oh, I was gonna mention one style favorite as well, which is just this top, um, which is from And Other Stories. I'm not sure if it's still on the website. I will try and find it. I think I ordered it slightly too big. I really, I really like it. It's just this like relaxed, relaxed fit shirt in black. I love it. And that's all for now. I'm gonna leave you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.